Input during box stretching a morph element, just as in other situations, is defined by the cursor's position on the editing plane, unless the cursor senses the corner, edge, or surface point of another element, in which case that point will be taken as input. The corners, edges, and surfaces of the stretch box are also sensed by the cursor and can be used during input. The stretch box's surface points can even be used to constrain which directions the stretch will occur. For example, if we start stretching by a corner, then find a stretch box face as shown by the smart cursor shape, the stretch direction perpendicular to that face is in effect constrained so stretching will occur only in the other two directions. If we find an edge of the stretch box as shown by the smart cursor shape, stretching will in effect be constrained to the direction of the found edge, thus giving us a one-directional stretch. So there are different ways of achieving the same stretch result. If we find a corner of the stretch box, again as shown by the smart cursor shape, we can reduce the number of dimensions of the morph element. For example, we can reduce the box into a planar rectangle or even into a single line. This is useful, for example, in cases where we want to create the planar projection of a space polygon or curve for the purposes of creating edges of a morph element. Additionally, numeric input may also be employed by typing the desired values in the various fields of the tracker.